This is a fun and quick project. It only takes a few hours and gives a beautiful result. You can make the project with the cotton yarn you like, and you can even use some of your scrap yarns. I used five balls in five different colors of Scheepjes Katona of 10 grams each. A three millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. So let's begin. The pattern is in US terms and starts with a magic ring. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, slide under the first, grab the second, give it a twist and chain one. Then this is your magic ring. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, yarn over and make four double crochet in the ring. So including the chain three from the beginning, you have five double crochet. One more. Five double crochet, then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we make five double crochet again in the ring. So yarn over. Five, and then chain five, four, five, and make five double crochet in the ring. And five. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and you can close the ring with by pulling the tail end, and then we close our round with a slip stitch in the one, two, three, in the third chain from the beginning, chain three, a slip stitch, and here is your round one done. For round two, we chain three, this is your first double crochet, and then in the next, uh, in the next stitch we make another double crochet, so in the next stitch make another double crochet, then chain one, skip one, and in the next a double crochet again. In the next another double crochet so in this five double crochet we make two double crochet chain one two double crochet and skip the middle one then in this chain five space we make three double crochet chain three three double crochet so yarn over one two three, three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. All in the same chain five space. And then you need to move your double crochets a bit to the side because we make a double crochet in this first double crochet and this stitch is a little bit hidden so you need to push your stitches to the side to see the first double crochet so that's one a double crochet in the second and then a chain one skip a stitch and in the fourth and the fifth we make another double crochet
and then we are to chain five space again so we make three double crochet chain three three double crochet in this stitch or in this chain five space one two and three then chain three one two three and three more double crochet in the same space two and three and then push your stitches aside so you can see the first double crochet in this double crochet we make a double crochet in the next stitch we make a double crochet oops then chain one skip one and in the fourth and the fifth another double crochet then we are at the chain five space again so three double crochet chain three three double crochet in this space one two and three chain three two three and three double crochet in the same space And then we have finished our round so we close our round with a slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning chain three so one two three and in this chain we make a slip stitch to close our round and then your round two is done for round three we chain four one two three four and then we make a double crochet three together so yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch so in the next double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two leave two loops on your hook yarn over again insert your hook in the chain one space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops leave three loops on your hook Yarn over again, insert your hook in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. So this is your double crochet three together, and then chain one. Okay, in the next stitch we make a double crochet, and in every double crochet we make a double crochet so four in total and four and in the chain three space we make a three double crochet chain three three double crochet one two three Then chain three, one, two, three, and make three double crochet in the same chain three space. One, two, and three. And then move your stitches a little bit to the side, and then you see your first double crochet here. So yarn over and make a double crochet in the next four double crochet. So one, two, three, and four. And then we are making a double crochet three together again. So chain one, yarn over, insert in the next double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, leave two loops on your hook, Yarn over, insert your hook in the chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook, leave it on your hook, yarn over, insert in the next double crochet, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one. Okay, we make four double crochet in the next four stitches, so. four and then we are at chain three space again and in this space we make three double crochet chain three three double crochet so three double crochet one two three chain three and three more double crochet in this same space so one two and a three and then in the first stitch we make a double crochet and in the three after that also a double crochet so four in total so one two three and four and we are at a double crochet Three together again so yarn over insert in the next double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two leave two loops on your hook yarn over insert in the chain one space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two leave three loops on your hook yarn over insert in the next double crochet pull up a loop pull through two four loops on your hook and pull through all four loops and chain one then four double crochet in the next four stitches. And the chain three space again, and then three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. That's three, and then chain three, and three more double crochet in the same space. Okay, move your stitches so you can see your first double crochet and make, oops, three double crochet in the last three stitches. And you see here your first chain four space, this counts as your first double crochet and the chain one. So we have also four double crochet, including this. And we close our round with a slip stitch in the one, two, third stitch of this chain four space. And then your round three is done. We are at the last round. And for the last round, we chain one and make a single crochet in this chain one space. Then chain three, one, two, three, and make a single crochet in the double crochet three together. Then chain three, one, two, three, and make a single crochet in the next chain one space. Make single crochets all the way across until you are at a chain one, a chain three space. So one, two, three, and four, five six seven so seven single crochet and then chain three again one two three six single crochet in the chain three space chain three one two three single crochet in the chain three space again chain three one two three and then single crochet in the first double crochet after the chain three space we now made a nice corner 
And now we are working towards the other corner. Chain three, one, two, three, skip a stitch, and in the next you make a single crochet. Then chain three, one, two, three, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. One, two, three, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. One, two, three, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. One, two, three, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. One, two, and three, almost there, single crochet. One, two, three, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next, and one more. And then we are at the chain three space again. Two, three, single crochet in the last stitch before the chain three space. And then chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the same chain three space. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then single crochet in the first double crochet after the chain three space okay so repeat this also on this side and then i'll meet you back when i'm at the last chain three space okay i'm at the chain three space and then we chain three two three single crochet in the chain three space one two three single crochet in the same chain three space and now we make single crochets all the way across so in every stitch across starting at the first double crochet we make single crochets one two three four five six and close the round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. Okay. So cut your yarn, bind off, weave in, and make a bunch more. So I made um, 10 because I have five colors and you can make two triangles out of one little ball. So I made um, two of each color. So make a bunch of them and then I'll meet you back to show you how to attach all the triangles together to make the boho birthday bunting. To make the cord for your bunting, I grabbed just some yarn I have left, but you can use any yarn you like to make the cord. Um, just keep in mind that your cord is not bigger than the holes because you have to weave it through and then that is difficult if your yarn is really thick. So I use the same thickness, a number two yarn, um, as I used for my triangles and just in a cream color. So make a slip knot. On your hook I use again the three millimeter hook and just make a long chain so chain as many stitches you need to get around 75 inches just keep chaining until you have a length of about 75 inches and then I'll meet you back Okay, my cord is done. I uh, show you how to connect your triangles to the cord. So let's start with the first one. So you come from front to back and you attach your yarn through this top chain three space. So from front to back, 
pull through and then from back to front through this and from front to back through the next and then from back to front through the next so we have this and on the back you see your cord but on the front you only see it in the middle on the top so then pull through and then we go to our next so again the top chain three space from front to back then from back to front through the middle one and from front to back to the other middle one and then from back to front through the last chain three space so again you weave it through your and you can choose how far you take them apart so that's up to you so you can make your cord longer or shorter just as you like so front to back back to front front to back back to front and so on so this way you can attach all of your triangles you can make your cord as long or as short as you like and adjust this part you can also make some tassels at the end but then you need one more ball in each color because you need almost a whole ball for the two triangles so if you want to make tassels at the bottom then you need one more ball in each color extra attach all your triangles the same way so give it a nice place or give it to someone special for their birthday or for the birth of a baby whatever you like if you want the written pattern you can find it on my blog the link to my blog is in the description box down below so if you like this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye